a very good morning class hope you all are doing well we'll continue with the presentation on separation of mixtures in this we'll be first taking one uh, mix separation of mixture of solid solid mixture that uh, one topic was left yesterday that was your winnowing okay and picking we have discussed we'll take up winnowing so what is winnowing Winnowing is a process of separation of grain from husk and hay with the help of wind. Okay, winnowing itself means wind. Wind, wind. Okay, so what happens in winnowing? The mixture is allowed to fall from a height and it lightens, the lightened components get separated from the heavier ones because of wind. Lighter the particles, they'll flow far away, right? and heavier will settle downwards right so you can see in the slide that this lady is standing on height and she is using the process of winnowing now what is happening the grains being heavier are settling down while the shafts and the husk are being blown away by the wind okay so this method is winnowing now we'll talk about separation of solid liquid mixture where one substance will be solid the another one will be liquid okay here we need to cover six topics that are sedimentation and decantation filtration evaporation crystallization distillation centrifugation okay first we'll talk about sedimentation and decantation the word sediment means to settle down okay and decan means to decan it okay if you break the word decantation it is to decan that means something that is canned you need to remove it decan it okay now what happens in sedimentation the settling down of insoluble suspended solid particles are there okay so when a mixture is kept undisturbed after some times if you mix water and sand together okay after few hours you'll see that sand has settled down right clearly uh, there will be a layer of sand settled at the bottom and you will get a water a clean layer of water up okay now what happens this process is known as sedimentation okay now you will take another beaker and you will try to pour the water content into that beaker okay so that is decantation the word decantation is what pouring out the clear liquid without disturbing the sediment now the sedimentation is a process and the thing that is settling down is known as sediment okay and the above liquid that you are getting clear liquid is your supernatant liquid clear supernatant liquid that means your clear water is your supernatant liquid and the thing sand is being settling down so that is sediment this process is known as sedimentation and decantation okay these are used to separate heterogeneous mixtures okay then we'll be talking about after your sedimentation and decantation we'll be taking next topic that is your filtration the word filtration means to filter something right so filtration is a process of separating insoluble solid particles from liquid by allowing it to pass through a filter this process is known as filtration okay now what happens these this process is used to separate heterogeneous solid liquid mixture okay now in this you can see in the figure you have a glass rod through which you can mix the content you have a mixture you have a filter funnel in which you will put filter paper so that it may absorb or it may filter the things that you pass through it suppose a mixture of sand and water suppose a mixture of uh, chalk and water so what will happen the chalk particles will get trapped in the funnel only through filter paper and you will get a pure liquid as filtrate in the beaker right so residue is what the chalk that is being left over here 
this is known as residue and the liquid clear liquid that you are getting at the bottom is known as your filtrate so this process is known as filtration now mixtures like chalk and water clay and water tea and tea leaves sawdust and water can be separated by filtration clear then we'll talk about next topic that is evaporation very easy and you all must be knowing it also that evaporation is a process of converting a liquid into its vapor state either by exposing it to air or by heating right you must have seen that in summers you put the clothes on a clothes uh, on the rooftop so that it may dry up so that is what with the help of air the vapors are being evolved the liquid is turning into vapors and it is going up and as a result you are getting your clothes dried up well right but in labs and all you use it with the help of bunsen burner so this is the slide that shows that uh, in a lab you have a tripod stand on which you keep the evaporating dish okay from down if you provide heat with the help of bunsen burner there a mixture of salt and water is there right so what will happen water at 100 degrees centigrade will start evaporating and as a result after a lot of evaporation what will be left behind will be your salt so this is the method of separating salt and water through evaporation clear now we will talk about the next topic that is your crystallization now crystallization is what it is a process in which slow evaporation of a solution containing more of the solid component is done now crystallization the word crystallization means crystal formation right now what are crystals they are solid particles with definite shape and size and they are lustrous too you must have seen sugar right they are cubical in shape they are lustrous and they have a definite shape and size right now pure sugar is obtained from its solution in water by the process of crystallization when we talk about sugar solution heated when mixed with water what happens when you provide heat to it water evaporates and the solution is cooled now this cooling sugar dissolves in it starts separating out in the form of crystal you get a thin pa thick paste and after that you keep on dissolving the this dissolved sugar starts separating and they start forming crystals and you get pure sugar in the form of crystals so when we talk about crystallization it is specifically done for sugar and water separation clear next is your distillation very important topic for you to understand as well as to learn thoroughly now distillation is the method of getting a pure liquid from a solution by evaporating and then condensing it into the vapors in this process you get pure liquid now what happens in this when the solution is heated can you see the bunsen burner in the figure from down the solution is being heated into a round bottom flask right can you see a round bottom flask the solution is being heated in the round bottom flask now at a particular temperature it will start evaporating here you have a thermometer through which you will see the temperature at which the solution or the mixture has started evaporating now afterwards it starts evaporating you have a this condenser connected delivery tube and after outside the delivery tube you have a condenser this condenser is generally known as liebig condenser it was discovered by the scientist chemist liebig okay so you have a liebig condenser through which the evaporated particles or the evaporated uh, vapors get condensed cooled down and as a result it again turns into liquid form and you get it in the form of liquid in this beaker again i repeat you use the beaker you use a round bottom flask you need a condenser you need a water outlet so that continuously water comes into this condenser and water is cooled so that whatever vapors are being evolving and is going through this delivery tube gets converted into liquid 
so this process is known as distillation you need a distillation flask you need a clamp to hold the uh, beakers or you you need a clamp to hold the flask from top you need to put the cork so that the vapors may not go out and you need a thermometer right so now if you take a tap water mixture okay here in this slide i have taken acetone and water but we'll talk about very simple topic that is if you take a salt solution okay that means tap water is a mixture of dissolved salts okay this can be purified by distillation process now what the pure substance that you get here in this beaker is known as distillate okay is known as distillate clear now advantage of this process is that it is it can be used for both solid liquid mixtures can be easily obtained like when we talk about evaporation particularly water is being evaporated and you are getting only salt as a residue but in distillation what happens both the substances you will get together why because the vapors that are being evolving is being condensed through this Liebig condenser and is being collected downward as a result you are getting the condensed form in liquid form also and the solution if you are taking salt solution salt will remain back in round bottom flask and pure water will be con collected in the form of distillate in the beaker so this process is known as distillation next comes the last topic of your solid liquid mixture separation is your centrifugation now centrifugation is a method of separating solids from liquid where the mixture is homogeneous till now all the mixtures were heterogeneous in nature that means you can clearly make out that they are different they do not completely mix except distillation now centrifugation is done on homogeneous mixture this process is also known as churning churning okay now what happens in this the components are kept at different test tubes like if you have to separate a cream from milk okay fat from milk if you have to separate or you have this technique is being used in your washing machines also what happens the liquid part the liquid clothes when keep on rotating under very high speed what happens you see that the water oozes out from the clothes and your clothes get dried up very fast in the drier region right so the centrifugation force only works there so when we talk about lab in lab what happens you have test tubes kept in a rotating spindle in this different uh, different test tubes are kept and the test tubes are allowed to rotate at a very high speed okay and because of very high speed and the spinning what happens the separation of mixture takes place so this process is known as centrifugation i hope all the processes related to solid liquid mixture and solid solid liquid solid solid mixture is clear to you all and only last topic that is your separation of liquid liquid mixtures is left that we'll cover it in the next video till then thank you